Yeah, so my name is Nicole Jones. I live just on the other side of this fence here uh, on Vernon Street. I've lived here for about three years now, and I love this neighborhood. Yes, Suzanne was my neighbor, um, and she always had the most awe-inspiring yard through all seasons. It was always changing from things coming up in spring and I always loved seeing her little spoons that she would have in the ground with all the vegetables labeled. She was so organized and <laughs> I aspired to get to that gardening level. Fruits and vegetables, yeah, she had some beans growing, she definitely had some tomatoes. Um, yeah, I mean, she just had like a nice sunny spot to do a lot of productive growing back here. So always really cool just throughout the year to see how things developed. And uh, Susan would always share a lot of beans with me and vice versa. We both always had a lot of beans that were going back and forth across the fence. <laughs> Susan used the garden for definitely a place to relax. She was always out here reading, sipping on an iced tea, especially on a nice summer day, but also to plant vegetables. And she had a very ambitious vegetable garden growing this back patch over here. A lot of work you've been a garden size? Amazing work. I can barely contain my little plot just across the fence, so I'm always amazed and I always offered to help, but she always seemed like she had it under control and yeah, she really knew what she was doing. And, uh... Yeah, just always a really great way to kind of check in on the seasons of here's what's growing now, here's what I'm planning on growing. Oh, do you have any advice on, you know, when I should expect this to sprout? Like she was just such a wealth of information and always with a smile on her face. And even if she was busy working out here, she would always be willing to come over and talk to me and just time would fly. And yeah, mostly just gardening. I mean, there's a million things to talk about and when you have this kind of beautiful canvas to work with it's just there's no limit to what would come up in our conversations and yeah she was definitely my mentor in that way I was actually excited I'm doing a master gardener program right now um, with the county and yeah yeah I think just her telling me about her you know career and um, how she's enjoyed slowing down since and I think that always just sticks with me of like what's really important and being able to spend time um, outside, being in nature, tending to a garden, like that was really her true passion. Um, or, you know, I didn't know her as well as I would have liked to for sure. Um, but uh, I think just she really knew what mattered and I know she had like a really um, great career and uh, to see someone just so balanced and just so like at ease with the world and her spirit was always incredibly uplifting. I think between IT and botany that um, Susan was definitely able to transfer those things of just being very meticulous. Um, everything had a place and um, just being incredibly smart, like how she could just list off things about plants. Uh, she was definitely this encyclopedia. So, um, yeah. So she really did her homework. She, <laughs> she knew the material. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I was better off asking her than doing a Google search. <laughs> um, I just think it's so great to have a neighbor that you can connect with, especially nowadays, where we barely know our neighbors. And for that chance to always feel welcome, um, even though we live in these close quarters, but always welcome to having a conversation with one another is just something that um, you know we shouldn't take for granted. And I'm really glad I got to spend those days with Susan and getting to know her and getting to know her garden.